Hello YouTube friends. See you again on the Modern Technology Channel. How are you all? Hopefully in good condition. Ok YouTube friends, before continuing with the video, don't forget to click the like button, and subscribe. So as not to miss videos, interesting about advanced technologies, and what? Unlike ancient chicken farms, where chickens can be released or simply fed and watered, the modern livestock industry, particularly in broiler, broiler, and layer, laying, chickens, must be managed differently. Industrial chicken farms must be managed properly, comprehensively and accurately by employing advanced technology that is evolving in the world. Broilers that continue to improve both in terms of production output and their ability to convert feed more efficiently demand specific handling or management, substandard management is no longer an option. Livestock must be managed in the same way that a modern factory is managed, with careful consideration of production inputs, productivity, and outputs, as well as the environment. The chicken farming industry is a living biological factory, which is much superior than physical industries. The choice of location and cage is critical, because chickens are biological factories, as opposed to factories in general, which are inanimate items, the location of the farm will be crucial. Shane, 1998, presented a biosecurity principle that is separated into three perspectives, conceptual biosecurity, structural biosecurity, and operational biosecurity. In terms of conceptual biosecurity, each farm complex location must keep only one species of the same species, not mixed, for example, between ducks and chickens or broilers and layers, and the distance between farm complexes must be greater than 1.5 kilometers. Aside from the distance between farms, the ages of hens raised in a complex have an impact on disease dissemination. For broiler farms, the one age principle should be applied which means that there should only be one age every maintenance period. If just one age group is possible for laying hens, it is preferable to maintain the pullet rearing location separate from the upkeep during the producing phase. Indeed, it is necessary to consider not only the principle of biosecurity for disease prevention, but also economic considerations and the availability of other infrastructure such as clean water, electricity, roads, and even environmental temperature when determining the location of the farm and the layout of the cage. During the an individual chicken is the smallest unit. When farming is approached as if it were a factory, the farm can be thought of as a collection of little factories spread out over a large region, with the individual chicken serving as the smallest unit. There will be a production mechanism that produces both meat and eggs inside each tail. Perhaps it's easier to consider each laying hen as an egg factory that goes through a production process every day in order to produce one egg. Biologically, the production process takes place in the chicken's body. Nutrients, nutrients, are ingested every day as production inputs, coupled with the entry of drinking water and oxygen from the air. The body of the text feed is broken down into simpler nutrients in chickens, which are then absorbed through the intestinal tract and into the bloodstream. These nutrients are reorganized in the chicken's body to generate eggs, which are then coated in minerals, calcium, to form an egg shell at night. The eggs that have been produced will be removed from the chicken's body the next morning. That is the 24-hour-a-day egg manufacturing process, therefore the chicken body is a factory machine creating eggs from raw materials such as feed, drinking water, and oxygen. The meat manufacturing procedure is carried out continually till one chicken is produced after a period of greater than 30 days. The uncooked the raw materials for the production process are the same as for laying hens, in fact, broilers digest feed faster than laying hens. There will be an overhaul or disintegration of feed elements into simpler nutrients such as amino acids, glucose, and fatty acids about 4 to 6 hours after the chicken takes feed, allowing them to be absorbed in the intestines and enter the circulation.
Okay guys. See you in the next video, bay bay. Okay guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video is useful, and adds insight to all of you. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe, and share with your friends. So that this video, more useful for many people,